children can breathe in virus particles when they're at school. The good news is that the body has a built-in air filter that can remove virus particles after they breathe them in, before they can infect their cells but needs water to operate. This is why we recommend drinking water before, during, and after school. It removes virus particles from the nose, throat, and lungs to help them have less virus to fight for a less severe case. Removing more virus particles also means they have less virus to spread, so they bring home less virus. Having a less severe case of the virus means they have a shorter case, which means there's less time that they're spreading the virus. You may want to consider getting them a water bottle to carry with them at school. Now, I was talking with one mom who said she has two kids and different personalities. She gave them both a water bottle to take to school. One of them came back with an empty water bottle. The other one's water bottle was full. So it might take more encouragement for one of your children than another. Now, drinking water before they go to school, you don't want them to drink a whole bunch of water and need to pee on the bus. Or sometimes if you have some poop inside you that's ready to go, you drink a whole bunch of water, it can uh, kind of make you feel the intense need for a bowel movement. So you want to make sure that you're doing good logistics, good strategy with this as well. Let's take a quick look at how this works. When you breathe in virus particles, they land on your nose, throat, and lungs. Your body has a built-in air filter that removes virus particles but needs water to operate. It needs water to float the virus particles up to the top of your throat where they are swallowed and then dissolved in your stomach acid. There is a limited window of time between when the virus particles land and when they infect your cells. Before they infect your cells, they can be removed as virus particles. After they infect your cells, your infected cells must be destroyed. Your body has a two-step defense against virus infections. The first step is to remove virus particles before they can infect you using your body's built-in air filter. It is your body's first line of defense against airborne virus particles. The second step is to attack infected cells that the first step missed to destroy them using your body's attack immune system, which must research a new virus before it attacks it. This can take multiple days, during which time the virus multiplies. Your body has two immune systems, the innate and acquired immune system. The remove virus process is part of your innate immune system. The attack virus process is part of your acquired immune system. Your body's remove virus process is nonspecific. This means it removes all variations of a virus, even those in the future. Drinking water before, during, and after going to activities where you might breathe in virus particles helps your body remove more virus particles before they can infect you so you have less virus to fight, less virus to spread, and a less severe case. So reducing the amount of virus particles inside your body reduces the amount of virus your body has to fight, reducing the severity of your case. Washing hands, social distancing, and wearing a mask are three current virus protocols to help reduce the amount of virus particles entering your body. We would like to suggest drinking water before, during, and after activities as a fourth virus protocol to help reduce the amount of virus particles inside your body by removing them after they have entered your body. Drinking water before, during, and after going to an activity where you might breathe in virus particles helps your body have the water it needs to help float and remove virus particles from your nose, throat, and lungs. To learn more about how your body's built-in virus removal system works, please click on the video link or go to hydrationhealing.com and click on webinars in the menu to watch it. This seven-minute video shows how you can help your body remove virus particles before they can infect your cells so you have less virus to fight, less virus to spread, and a less severe case. You can also research the medical name for your body's built-in air filter, which is your mucociliary escalator. That's M-U-C-O-C-I-L-I-A-R-Y-E-S-C-A-L-A-T-O-R, -E mucociliary escalator. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your family and friends and on social media. Please consider watching the 7-minute video, especially the last part that illustrates how all this works. Thanks so much for listening. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll talk with you soon.